can you accelerate your time to market? What about jumpstarting your prototyping process? If you're working on an IoT design, or at least mulling it over in your brain, you have considered both of these questions quite extensively, I'm sure. But what if you could just start with the application layer? What if your software was already integrated and your source code was auto-generated? Oh yes, my friends, all of this and more is available today with the help of the Renaissance Quick Connect IoT. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Rapid prototyping is a vital first element to get your IoT design into the real world. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Brad Rex from Renaissance and I examine the Renaissance Quick Connect IoT out of the box IoT solution that combines a well defined API and middleware with certified module solutions to make rapid prototyping easier and faster than ever before. We also investigate how the Quick Connect IoT integrated software can help MCUs, sensors, and connectivity devices communicate effectively, and how you can get started using the Quick Connect IoT for your next design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Renaissance. Hi, Brad. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Okay, so I am excited to talk about Quick Connect IoT today. But Brad, before we dig into the details, what is all included in the Quick Connect IoT? Yeah, so Quick Connect um, actually is about a year old from Renaissance. And, you know, what we really set out to kind of solve was the problem of, you know, how do we get both hardware and software together to make it easy to connect our sensors, our connectivity to our microcontrollers and our microprocessors? really to make it easy to make rapid prototyping, super easy to use, not a lot of time in terms of investment up front, also not a lot of time and investment in terms of actually creating hardware. So what we decided to do was we standardized on a couple of, you know, community-based form factors that are out there, things like PMODs, Arduino, Microbus. We made it in such a way that we can actually take the sensor hardware and actually daisy chain them together. It makes it really simple and easy if you're kind of limited on pins don't have a lot of connectors on your board, kind of shove it all together, make it super simple for you to actually use the pins that you have most efficiently. With our dialog acquisition that we happened about a year ago, um, we now have connectivity capability as well. So with the connectivity, we now have BLE, Wi-Fi, and some other technologies that also are PMOD enabled. And these can also be added as part of the Quick Connect system. And then lastly, the biggest piece of the puzzle here is actually our software piece. So we've spent quite a bit of effort over the last year really beefing up the software experience. This includes all the middleware, the drivers, you know, anything lower than that. We also create some example applications. And, you know, a little bit later, we can talk about, you know, how we make this really simple for customers to pull together. As of today, we support almost all of our microcontrollers and microprocessors that we have within the Renaissance portfolio. We have sensors like temperature and humidity, gas, flow sensors, air quality, biometric, support PMOD, Microbus, Arduino, pretty much a lot of the main form factor devices that are out there in terms of community boards that are available today. Excellent. Now, one of the crucial aspects of IoT designs is time to market. The more you can accelerate your design process, the better. So Brad, does Quick Connect IoT help me in this case? It sure does. If we look at just uh, what it takes to do rapid prototyping, um, which is kind of your first step into time to market, the Quick Connect system allows for plug and play hardware. So this makes it super simple to just take hardware and bolt it into existing systems that are already in place. We have a lot of out-of-box solutions that are already available. As I had mentioned earlier, broad support across the Renaissance portfolio of microcontrollers and microprocessors. So you can move from one to the other very quickly, really to just kind of, you know, put on some new test wheels and, and to try out a different system if you need to. Everything is easy to use. It's really just plug and play. Some of the software is already included in most of our major software packages. Some of the software can be downloaded from our website, but make it really easy and visible for somebody to go after. Added connectivity. So this now adds the ability to now connect to the cloud and actually make the IoT. You need wireless connectivity to make an IoT system. So with BLE and Wi-Fi as examples, makes it really easy to connect to the cloud. 
And we can provide actually that full end-to-end -end solution. So not only is Renaissance are we providing the actual silicon at the lowest level, we have examples that get you all the way up to the cloud. So you can actually visualize your data, see it on a dashboard, um, and then take it to the next level of actually acting on that data and actually having some intelligence with an IoT system. So Brad, you mentioned PMODs, and we've talked about Renaissance PMODs in the past here on Chalk Talk. You guys have quite a selection of these PMODs these days, right? Yes, and the market for these is actually growing very tremendously for us, just internally within Renaissance. I think when we first launched Quick Connect about a year ago, I think we supported one sensor, it was a temperature and humidity sensor. Since then, it's actually grown quite tremendously to include almost all of our sensors. As you can see here on this slide, lots of sensors that are actually out in the market today. These are all available in terms of both software and hardware, can take both parts of that system and make it easy to actually integrate. The nice thing about this is that many of the groups, you know, in the different product lines and divisions within Renaissance are now getting on board with when they are actually making their new products that are coming to market as part of their dev kit experience that they're creating. They are looking first to PMODs and to other form factors like Arduino to make sure that we have that community aspect that we can actually help get them into a quick connect system and then also make it easier for customers to use. So this is growing tremendously. Um, some of our newer sensors that we have coming out, we had a new sensor for temperature humidity that launched um, in the summertime, the HS4001, that has become available. We have software for our BLE and Wi-Fi devices that for a long time, we only had demo code for it. Now it's being integrated. So pretty much by the end of this year, we will have a lot of the software all fully integrated. And that really is the challenge is, that, you know, how do we make it easy for customers to use the software portion? Because that's where the biggest uh, long pole is in terms of actual development cycle. That makes sense. Now, what about going beyond the Quick Connect IoT? How easy is it to implement complementary boards with this setup? So it is very easy because we have actually implemented known, well-defined standards out in the market. So PMOD, invented by a company named Digilent, and there's many boards out in the market. We all pretty much have heard of Arduino. Microbus is also very common. So the beauty of this whole system is that we're using effectively common interfaces and board types that are already well-known within the market and established. And we're using those to our advantage in terms of hardware. So everything is standardized in terms of hardware. We actually work with other third-party vendors out there as well that use Renaissance components and actually create their own PMODs or board form factors. And so those also work with the Quick Connect system. And then if you look at kind of just the entire totality of you know, the market itself, what's out there, hundreds of boards that are already out on the market, lots of software that's already available that's easy to find. All of this can be integrated and pulled into Quick Connect and into our software packages. So if you needed to add things like um, audio or if you needed to add like a small screen so you can visualize some data, you can buy these boards you know, from many sites out there and then integrate the software and then basically then complement your system that's using the Renaissance components with additional boards that are out in the market. One other nice thing we've actually done is that for at least the internal Renaissance boards that we have, we have actually simplified the end user license agreement experience. Previously, every bit of software that we had potentially could have its own EULA. I think at one point, you know, we had, like many companies, tens of EULAs for different types of applications. The beauty of the Quick Connect system is all of this has been pulled together into one single EULA. So it's all in one umbrella. Makes it really easy if you need to go to your boss or to your legal team to get signed off on actually using it. The one EULA makes it much simpler to go through that process versus having to cross-reference multiple EULAs just to get some quick work done. So, Brad, one of the biggest issues with IoT designs is getting the MCU sensors and connectivity devices to talk to each other properly. So can the Quick Connect IoT help me with this issue? It sure can. It does this actually in two different ways, and it really just depends on what the end engineer is looking for. So on one level, we have lots of demo application and software. Any engineer can go in there, read through it, understand it. Typically, they'll modify it and kind of, you know, fit it into their system and how they want to make it work. While that's a one way to do it, uh, may not be the most efficient way to do it. You know, it does require you to understand the library. You need to understand how the glue logic works. You need to connect it to the MCU. So there's a lot of complications involved in going this path. I would say there's a lot of learning up front that needs to happen before you can actually start your actual project and actually make something interesting at an application level. What Quick Connect does is that not only do we provide that type of code, um, but we also provide a lot of the middleware and how libraries. 
that allow you to basically abstract a lot of that knowledge into higher level activities. So it makes it a lot easier for you to start working from the application layer down. You can easily build an application by pulling in all these different libraries and glue logic, a lot of the stuff you would never look at. And really, it boils down to maybe just a couple, maybe even three to five function calls in certain examples to actually get sensor data coming off into a system. All the APIs are well-defined, as well as the middleware components. A lot of the source code is actually auto-generated. There's no value add in some of this source code and understanding the I squared C driver. You just want to use it. So a lot of this auto-generated code is just pulled in, making it a lot easier for you to then just abstract yourself and move at the upper levels of the system. What this actually does in terms of code generation is it actually reduces the amount of API calls that you need to make. A lot of the stuff that you don't care too much about is hidden in lower levels of the code making it a lot easier for you to also then do porting. So if you wanted to take this application and port it to another system, you can do that. And then instead of restarting the whole process from the very beginning, you have a kind of a base to start with. One other beauty of this system is that you have the ability now to start at the application layer. So really makes it simple for you to actually delay kind of the learning process for doing your rapid prototyping. You know, eventually you will have to learn how the sensor works. You might even be twiddling register bits or things like that at the lowest levels. But a lot of that you can kind of defer to a little bit later in your product design cycle while you try to get the first rapid prototype built. So Brad, can you walk me through the software integration process a bit? What steps are we looking at here? Right. So this is just one example of some of the integration that we've already done within Renaissance. As you can see here, this is software that we use. It's called our Flexible Software Package or FSP. And this allows you to basically do drag and drop as well as, you know, basically pointing and clicking to actually set up a lot of the software stacks that are in code. So as you can see here, right, we can just select the sensor and we have all the sensors already listed there. That will then create uh, what you see here in the middle, which is kind of the software stack up for that. It's very intelligent in how it sets it up. As you can see here, it tries to take best practices in terms of its naming convention. And it also will identify things like the ones that are shown in red here, where potentially you need to act on it. So you may need to set a communications channel. You may need to pull in an additional library. It actually will tell you what that issue is, and then you can actually take an action on it. So in this example here, the reason it's red is because we needed to actually tell it which I squared C module we wanted to use on the device. So as soon as we pick one, then it would all actually um, clear itself out. One other interesting feature that we have that's actually built into our tools, which is uh, very unique and actually just saves a ton of time is what we call developer assistance. Once you've actually set up all the software and the different types of sensors that you want to talk to, and then the different types of ports like I squared C or UART or things like that, the developer assistant then analyzes your system and then understands which function calls are required for that. So those function calls that you see kind of in that screen capture on the right-hand side, those can actually just be dragged and dropped right into your source code. So it automatically will create the function or the function call, drops it into your source code. You don't even have to write it. The one nice thing about it is if you read through here, you see like some of the parameters that are going into some of these functions are a little bit nasty. There's pointers to structures and all this other stuff. You would have to know what those are. The nice thing about this is that you just drag it in and everything will get set up for you. So it's even good enough to understand that if you already have like a function variable that's similarly named, it will start to link them up together. This makes it really easy for you to start with your development. Actually also makes it easy for those of us that are getting a little older and can't remember everything off the top of our head, how you basically would then create it and uh, have the correct function call so you can actually code quicker. So this is a really nice feature, uh, works really well, complements Quick Connect and kind of the same paradigm and methodology really allows for drag and drop. You know, as I mentioned before, I can run basically this full system, reading sensor data out within a matter of probably less than 10 minutes. And that's me going just really slow. Almost no code being written to actually create that. In fact, I think for the temperature and humidity sensor as one example, the only code that you would write is actually the structure, I think, separates the integer and decimal parts. So if you want to hook them together, you have to have a little bit of math to add them in. And then it's in Celsius. So if you're having to want Fahrenheit, you need to do some standard conversion. But again, the sensor data itself comes out very quickly. So again, 10 minutes or less, get a full system up and running, seeing data coming out of that system very quickly. Okay. Well, Brad, this has been excellent. Thank you so much for joining me. Great. Thanks for having me on, Amelia. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Renaissance. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. 
For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash EE Journal. <laughs>